Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to show you guys open source Android emulator. Yes, there is a open source Android emulator, which I didn't knew till a few days ago. I found out about this. This is called Trinity emulator. And this is really simple and really fast Android emulator. And uh, yeah, that's all you need to know. It's actually pretty good. So this is the official github page from here you can download it this is a zip file just go to releases and then uh, download the zip file go to your download folder and then unzip it and run it pretty simple now this is how it looks it's super fast look at this just check this out i'm opening the application all right just check this out all the animations even the settings I mean, this is something like super clean. Uh, we know there are many Android emulators out there, but this one is a little bit different, actually a lot different. Comes with a zero bloat. It's super clean, fast, unlike other Android emulators. And it uses something called uh, QEMU to emulate the Android emulator. Pretty simple. So actually, let me close this out. You just need to run this trinity.exe file. All right. And then you can see it's using the QEMU. All right. So here you can see you can run this without installing it just to quickly test it out uh, before you actually install it. So let's do that. OK, first, I'm just going to run this without installing it. And you'll see it's it's super fast right for someone like dev who makes apps and do the testing i think this is super fast and easy android emulator and look at this this is just super simple and fast google play store is here everything is here all right one thing that you won't get in this is the key mapping for gaming maybe this is not the best android emulator but for apps and for devs who wants to test their apps while they are building it, it may be better than other options out there. So now let's actually install it. So I'm going to run the Trinity one more time. OK, this time we're going to install it. So we're going to select the option where it says install Android x86 to hard disk it actually comes with a virtual hard disk actually let me show you guys so you can see there is a hda image dot img file that's the hard disk so in the installation page just click on create or modify partitions select that and set the gpt yes and then click on continue in here select that new option and hit enter just leave it empty and hit enter it will use all the storage okay so just keep hitting enter now go to write and type yes and hit enter and now just quit and you can see now you have the sda1 storage device select that actually that's the only device we have here so select that and hit ok and format this as ext4 and yes for grub loader hit yes here again yes again yes go yes yes for everything you may be thinking i'm doing this blindly but no i have actually read the tutorial here you can also do that okay you don't have to trust me if you don't want to <laughs> you can actually go through this github pages uh, instructions so here they have wiki um, yeah you can see they have the full guide here now once it's installed uh, run it just like that and here it is uh, it's in small screen right now but don't worry I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna run it again so once it's installed you can see here we have different options to select actually i'm too late to select the other options basically you choose the first option that's the thing that you need to select so here now we have the bigger screen if you want to use this in full screen mode you can use uh, a app something like 
in this app borderless gaming uh, app which will put any uh, application which doesn't have the full screen uh, mode or button to full screen so this thing actually doesn't have a full screen so here it is now we have successfully installed it we have the google play store so actually i'm gonna sign in and i'm gonna check out the apps basically for apps i mean it's perfect for those click and touch games this is also great so you can see it's even compatible with roblox who doesn't want to play roblox but sadly it doesn't have the key mapping yeah even the pubg mobile is supported by this android emulator which means it's pretty capable android emulator i want to install just one game really simple one maybe this one this is a huge game 800 or something megabytes i think yeah it's uh, 894 megabytes wow that's a lot of gigabytes i mean megabytes it's a simple game maybe it has lots of stages so we're gonna let this thing download and we're gonna test this out oh no there is a story <laughs> i wonder why this game is so heavy and i think this game isn't as it is advertised oh actually never mind there is a story i like it how are we gonna kill this okay oh no oh <laughs> look at him dancing how is this game like almost one gigabyte too many video files in one game uh it's one of those games all right <laughs> yeah for this type of games no problem this can play that all right oh another dude how do i supposed to kill him actually never mind i like this game oh <laughs> Uh, I'm done, okay? But you got the idea. Yes, this is very capable Android emulator. In my opinion, if you want something really clean, like you're looking for a cleanest Android emulator with zero bloat, adwares, then this is the one. It's, it's the cleanest Android emulator out there. That's all I have to say. And uh, I think that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment. And we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.